We are in the thick of tax season. Before you send in your personal return, check out these 13 tax breaks. Here at CNET Money, we rounded up some important tax credits and deductions to review ahead of filing. Just keep in mind these items are mainly for those who work for a company and are not self-employed. First up, the child tax credit. Now the new child tax credit increased and was made fully refundable in 2021. Unless you chose to not enroll in advance payments, eligible families automatically received half the total payments in monthly installments beginning in July of 2021 through the end of last year. Now, when you go to file your taxes this year, you can receive any remaining benefits not received from advanced monthly installments. Keep an eye out for IRS letter 6419, which will share how much you receive in advance, child tax credit disbursements, and how much you may have left to claim. Use this to file your return accurately. Next, if you missed your third stimulus payment in 2021, but you shouldn't have, see if you can claim it through the recovery rebate credit on your 2021 tax return. Number three on our list of tax breaks you don't want to miss, the Earned Income Tax Credit. Now this credit lowers the amount of taxes for low to moderate income workers and households. You'll usually hear from the IRS if you qualify for the Earned Income Tax Credit, and if not, you can go to the website and look up the EITC Assistant. Four, see if you qualify for the Lifetime Learning Credit, also called LLC. This credit applies to those who are paying for qualifying higher ed expenses. To claim this credit, you have to fall under certain income thresholds. It's typically worth 20% of the first $10,000 you pay towards qualifying higher education costs. In short, up to $2,000. Now this credit won't come in the form of a refund. It can instead be used to lower your tax bill. Another tax break worth highlighting is the American Opportunity Tax Credit. Now, unlike the LLC, this is reserved for first-time college students for their first four years of college or other higher education. There are income thresholds for this as well, but if you qualify, it could earn you as much as $2,500. Now, this credit is partially refundable. If deducting this credit brings your tax balance to $0, then 40% of the remaining amount of this credit, or up to $1,000, may be given back to you as a tax refund. All right, seven more tax breaks to go. Next up, the Child and Dependent Care Credit. If you made child care related expenses in 2021 because you look after a child or have a dependent in your home, you may be able to earn as much as 50% back as a refund. This credit maxes out at $8,000 for one dependent and $16,000 for two or more. Number seven, the Savers Credit. Now this credit applies to those who made payments to an individual retirement account or employer-sponsored retirement plan like a 401k in 2021. The maximum benefit is $1,000 for single filers and $2,000 if filing jointly. The amount of the credit depends on your income. Moving to number eight, the Adoption Tax Credit. If you adopted a child in 2021, then this credit covers adoption fees, court costs, attorney fees, traveling expenses, and other related costs. For the 2021 tax year, the maximum credit is 14,440 bucks. Next, medical and dental expenses. This is a deduction and it can be a pretty big one. If you, your spouse, or any of your dependents had out-of-pocket medical expenses last year, you can make a deduction as long as the total amount of all your receipts exceeds 7.5% of your adjusted gross income. Not everything qualifies, but a lot does, including fees to doctors, dentists, and medical professionals, hospital visits, treatment for addiction related to alcohol, drugs, smoking, and more. Also, out-of-pocket payments for insulin, eyeglasses, contact lenses, wheelchairs, and service animals. For the full list of deductions, go to the IRS website. Tenth on the list, the Residential Energy Credit. If you had energy efficient upgrades to your home in 2021, you might earn a credit. Qualifying expenses include energy efficient windows and doors, roofs, insulation, energy efficient heating and AC systems, water heaters, biomass stoves, solar water heaters, and more. Next, don't forget the student loan interest deduction. Now we know federal student loans were auto deferred last year, but if you carried any private loans and paid interest on those, or if you paid federal student loan payments for yourself, your spouse, or another dependent, you may be eligible for this deduction. There is an income phase out, but the deduction is worth up to $2,500 for those who qualify. 
Tax break number 12 is the health savings account contribution. If you have a health savings account or HSA, contributions face no federal income tax. You can also get a tax deduction for contributing to your HSA. And last but not least, charitable contribution deductions. One of my favorite ways to earn a tax break, you can deduct contributions of money or property that you provided to qualifying nonprofits and charities. So collect those receipts. As always, if you enjoy these videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button, share with a friend, and we love to hear from you. Share a comment below with any questions or feedback. Best of luck with the tax season, everybody. For CNET Money, I'm Farnoosh Tarabi.